welcome my dear colleagues students and from and friends from anywhere in the world today i am going to discuss estimation of structural equation modeling in stata and uh, i would like to tell you uh, that this is one of the most difficult but uh, an interesting estimation technique uh, which is used by economist psychologist and uh, other researchers so first of all uh, i would like to open stata and uh, in stata uh, i'll open my data file and uh, here is my data file if i click open so i have all these variables opened here let me first uh, examine the data this is id this is age this is sex race question number 1 question number 2 up to maybe question number uh, 10 and there is a total score and this data is about uh, depression uh, there are some symptoms of uh, uh, emotional symptoms of depression and uh, some question on uh, physical symptoms of uh, depression uh, probably the total number of observations in this file are 1000 so this is quite uh, a big sample so now let me play with it first of all i would like to describe the data this is description of variables as i told you there are uh, 20 questions of uh, 10, 20 questions on symptoms of depression the first questions the first uh, 10 questions uh, can be grouped as symptoms of uh, emotional depression and uh, from question 11 to 20 can be categorized as uh, physical symptoms of depression so this is a, a brief description of the data let me show you summary of the data uh, this is the descriptive statistics or summary of all these variables id age sex race and these are uh, 20 questions and all these are based on likert scale and uh, every question includes five categories like agree strongly agree neutral disagree and uh, strongly disagree and finally there is a total score on uh, depression symptoms of depression uh, these are number of observations so there is no missing value 1000 observations these are the average values of all these variables these are their standard deviations and uh, these are minimum and these are maximum of these uh, variables uh, let me build structural equation model so i will click on statistic then i will go to acm and acm stands for structural equation modeling so i will click on this and uh, after click on this uh, i'll get this window now first i would like to click on view and go to adjust canvas size let me make it a little bigger i'll write 8 by 6 so if i say okay so now this is 8 by 6 but uh, i would like to fit this in uh, this window so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 1 2 3 4 5 6 so this is 8 by 6 now on the left hand side you see there is this arrow which is used for select this is for add observed variable this is for add generalized uh, response variable uh, this is for add latent variable this is for uh, add multi level latent variable this is add path this is for uh, add covariance and this is for uh, add measurement component and this is add observed variables set and this is a uh, add latent variable set 
this is a regression component and uh, this is a text and this is a area and so on so uh, i'm interested in uh, this a measurement component so i'll click on this and then i will click somewhere here and uh, as i told you the first test questions are related to emotional symptoms of depression so i will write emotional here and here i will list all these uh, questions so question 1 question 2 question 3 question 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and now i will press ok and after that uh, i'll uh, click on up so uh, i have this let me adjust here so these are the uh, 10 questions are emotional symptoms of depression now uh, i will define the uh, physical symptoms of uh, depression this time i will write physical and i will list uh, from equation 11 to 20 here so Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and uh, after okay. Let me this time use uh, the down as measurement direction. Click OK. Now I have this structure here. So one is a uh, emotional, and uh, one is a uh, physical. Uh, let me save this. let me save this yes already exists uh, i assume that uh, there may be a covariance among the emotional symptoms of depression and uh, physical uh, symptoms of depression so uh, let me click on this i will add covariance so uh, it uh, defines the covariance uh, among the emotional and uh, physical uh, physical symptoms of uh, depression so here is my data again this is my data and uh, let me also show the SEM uh, again uh, let me fit this in uh, yes now let me go to estimate and uh, here I see uh, the under model there is maximum likelihood there is maximum likelihood missing values and uh, there is a asymptotic distribution free uh, this is group uh, this is if and in this is weights and uh, this is a standard error robust and so on so i would click on this and uh, let me leave this the way it is by default and click ok so if i click ok uh, in a few seconds uh, the data estimates everything for me so uh, this command sem that is structural equation modeling so let me show the estimation to you uh, This is the command which data used. These are the endogenous variables, these are the exogenous variables, and uh, the latent variables are emotional symptoms of depression and physical symptoms of depression. 
these are the iteration these are uh, total number of observations the method is maximum likelihood this is lag likelihood and uh, coming down these are uh, emotional is equal to 1 and uh, in this is uh, physical is equal to 1 so first i would like to show the estimation of the emotional symptoms of emotional symptoms of depression here you see the coefficients here you see the standard errors here you see the g values here you see the p values these are the 99 95% confidence interval and uh, the emotional symptoms of depression are from question number 1 to question number 10 and from question number 11 uh, up to question number 20 are based on uh, physical symptoms of depression these are their coefficients uh, their standard errors their z values their p values and uh, these are the 95 percent confidence interval and if we scroll further down we see the there are the variances and uh, covariances of these so finally we have the variance of uh, emotional and uh, variance of uh, physical symptoms of uh, depression the coefficients the standard errors and the 95 percent confidence interval and here is the uh, test for model versus uh, saturated chi-square so this is very simple about the structural equation modeling my dear colleagues and uh, students I hope you enjoyed uh, learning structural equation modeling in Stata uh, this data is available on the internet you can download it uh, from the Stata website and you can play around with the data uh, in different ways how to estimate uh, structural equation models uh, if you like this video you can uh, share this with your friends with your colleagues and uh, with your uh, students so that it can reach to as many as uh, possible uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed this if yes uh, you can uh, subscribe to my youtube channel and click on bell icon so that uh, you can get notification about my other videos thank you and uh, have a good afternoon